All right, guys, welcome back. It's a new day. Let's have a great day of recording today, shall we? See, I did not go to the blue room, which should be the event point. Well, that's fine. I mean, I guess that needed to happen anyway. I don't know what would happen if we didn't go there to this room first, but, you know, whatever. on Haida. It's 3.52 a.m. Still so early. Well, what now? Faye, what's that sound? Sounds like they're going to make an announcement. This is an update for all refugees. We now know the recent raid on the resort planet Haida was a surprise attack by Vendine. Vendine? Aren't they that military power that's currently at war with Aldian? They did turn down the Federation's offer of aid some time ago, but there were no open hostilities. Remote Station 7 mounted an attempt to defend Haida 4, but it was thwarted by a tactical Vendini strike. Currently, the Pangalactic Administration is scrambling ships from surrounding regions, but Vendini forces still have control of this sector. We request that all civilians begin boarding rescue shuttles for immediate evacuation to Remote Station 6. Please do not panic. Refer to the nearest console or attendant for further instructions. Sophia, we gotta go. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. A little sleep helped calm me down. Hold on just a little longer. 
We'll be safe once we reach Remote Station 6. Okay. Computer, tell me the present location of Robert and Ryoko Line God. The present location of the specified individuals is unknown. What do you mean, unknown? Both Robert Lingard and Ryoko Lingard's positions were lost on Galactic Year 772-12141923. Lost? What then? The information system is currently experiencing technical difficulties. Confirmation is not possible at present. What? Oh no!
Welcome to the Federation transport ship GFSS-12372 Hellera. You must have been through a lot. We will soon be departing for remote station 6. The observation bay is located directly through the corridor leading out of this room. Please wait there until we reach our destination. Gravitic Warp will get us there shortly. something huh you're right what is that something on the monitor let's take a look okay oh, oh no it's worse than I thought this is horrible we are about to enter gravitic warp to escape the battle zone I repeat, we are about to enter Gravitic Warp to escape the battle zone. All evacuees prepare for warp turbulence. you up sorry no it's all right where do you think we are now I wonder there haven't been any announcements yet we should ask one of the crew yeah Good idea.
Navigator, status report. Yes, Captain. We were cruising at warp 15 on course 231, mark 330, when the gravitic warp field collapsed and the computer detected an anomaly, forcing us to return to conventional space. Computer, what caused the ship's warp field to collapse? There is not enough data to determine the cause. All right. Even if you can't determine the cause, how about a theory? Prior to the collapse, sensors detected a space-time disturbance. Our database does not contain any record of such a disturbance. But there is a 77% probability it was the cause of the collapse. Space-time disturbance? Come to think of it, Vendini military technology is based on space-time manipulation. That is not an established fact, but the Federation Institute of Technology has theorized this is the case. So it was likely a Vendini attack that stopped us then. Screen on! Damn! Divert all power to shields! Evasion course 291, mark 030. Force entered. So that's a Vendini battleship. A rescue frigate's shields are no match for the likes of that. Fake.
This is your captain speaking. Our ship is currently under attack by a Vendini battleship. Our gravitic warp engine has already been disabled, which means escape is not an option. All power has been diverted to our shields to buy us some time. But I wanted you all to know, the chances are slim. I had hoped to transport you all the way to Remote Station 6. But it seems that is now beyond my power. All evacuees are requested to proceed to the ship's escape pods. Please remain calm. Follow the instructions of the attendant nearest you as you board your car. Good luck to you all. A direct hit?
still here. Get in, quick! We're running out of time. Wait, I'm scared. Don't worry. But... Federation ship will recover our pods in no time. I'll see you at Remote Station 6. Now get going! Okay, you'll follow, right? Promise? Promise. Activation complete. Ejection in 10 seconds. Distress signal operational. Okay. Searching for life-supporting planets. Planet found. Where? Vanguard 3, located approximately 0.5 light-years from present location. Axial tilt of 35 degrees results in extreme seasonal weather. Existence of humanoid life forms confirmed. The Federation has classified Vanguard 3 as an underdeveloped planet, civilization level approximately equivalent to 16th century Earth. Would you like to review the Underdeveloped Planet Preservation Pact? Yes. The Underdeveloped Planet Preservation Pact was established in order to protect planets with developing civilizations. Contact with civilizations that have not reached a certain level of development is strictly prohibited by Federation law. This is due to the fact that contact with advanced civilizations has a high probability of greatly influencing the course of history on a less developed planet. All individuals and organizations belonging to the Pan-Galactic Federation are required to adhere to the tenets of this pact, unless faced with a clear danger to life and limb. This pact is one of the most important components of Pan-Galactic Federation law. It also serves as a guideline for civilian conduct in emergency situations. Violators will be tried by the Pan-Galactic Council. How long till we get there? At our present speed of warp 6, arrival is estimated in 144 hours. Are there any foreseeable problems in getting to Vanguard 3? How's our energy reserves? No foreseeable problems. An adequate supply of energy and food is on board. Okay, I guess I'll get some sleep. Notify me if anything happens. Affirmative. Entering Vanguard 3's gravitational field. 
Prepare for entry turbulence. Here we go! So this is Vanguard 3. Since they haven't contacted me yet, I suppose it'll be a few days before they come rescue me. I better keep an eye out for danger. After all, this is an underdeveloped planet. My quad scanner's picking something up. Moving at 40 clicks. Might be an animal. I hope it's not dangerous. I should use my replicator to make myself a weapon, just in case. A sword would be a good match for this planet's level of development. I don't want to get arrested for violating the UP3. Luckily, I've gotten used to this kind of weapon in the battle simulators. Not that I feel very lucky right now. I sure hope I don't end up having to use this thing. Yeah, that feels about right. The sun will be setting soon. I better find someplace safer to stay by nightfall. There is any safe place on this planet. Huh? There's something there. I'll try expanding the range a bit. It's picking up humanoids. Based on this reading, I guess it's a village. If I start out now, I might be able to make it by nightfall. Huh. I'll go. I know it's a UP3 infringement, but this is an emergency. They'll probably cut me some slack if I keep a low profile. <laughs> 